people think that having a disability is a barrier. But that's not the way I see it. <laughs> you can catch up with friends. Ready? You can capture a moment with your family. One face, small face, focus lock. And you can start the day bright and early. You can take a trip to somewhere new. Three miles to the summit. You can concentrate on every word of a story. A bird began to sing. Jack opened his eyes. You can take the long way home. Or edit a film like this one. When technology is designed for everyone, it lets anyone do what they love, including me. A simple click on the switch is all it takes. Those simple switch activations have opened up my world. A world that was difficult for me before because my body doesn't work like everyone else's does, and this world places barriers in front of me, making access difficult if not impossible. Some barriers are meant to come down, and I am here to tear them down. I am a video editor, a storyteller, an advocate, an activist, an artist. So what Sadie didn't tell you is that she was the lead editor for that video. And that video was the opening video for Tim Cook's uh, presentation, keynote presentation a couple years ago, where they rolled out Apple's new accessibility website and their accessibility features. The other thing is, um, you guys may have seen Sadie um, during the Super Bowl. She was uh, one of the, in the Super Bowl commercial. Um, it was the Apple commercial where they showed the stills of all the famous people that used the Mac. So it was Oprah and Paul McCartney and Bono and Malala and she was right after Kermit the Frog. Uh, <laughs> but as an assistive technology professional, and I've been doing assistive technology for over 30-some years, one of my jobs is to go into schools or into homes and do assistive technology evaluations. And, a lot, and my evaluations really focus on finding solutions for students uh, to be able to access the curriculum, to access their daily living, and to access maybe some communication. But one of the things that I always felt was missing was the focus on finding tools that will allow kids and young adults to express themselves artistically. That all changed when I met Sadie. When people look at me, most see a young woman with cerebral palsy. They see my disability, but they don't see me for who I really am. They don't see my ability. They don't see the passionate, intelligent, and independent woman that I am. They don't see me for the artist I am. I am a video editor who uses video to tell the story of how technology can open up the world for persons of all abilities, so they can access their artist within. So we really live in an exciting time because today's technology really gives us the power to put a, a paintbrush into the hands of an artist who can't hold a paintbrush, or put, give the opportunity for someone who's blind to become a photographer, or the ability to be able to put into the hands of a musician an instrument when that musician can't hold an instrument, maybe can't read or write music, and the ability to be able to put video editing tools into control of a person who can't use a traditional keyboard or mouse. When I was younger, I was really fascinated with video editing. I was fascinated by the whole process of putting photos together, combining music, and telling a story. 
I loved how video could affect people's emotions. I wanted to learn how to do this, so Mark showed me the basics of editing. It was easy for me and I loved it. I spent several years doing videos for weddings, anniversaries and graduations. I started a small business where I continued to make videos. But I knew there was more that I could do. And I knew that there was so much more that Sadie could do. I saw this young lady who had a passion for film editing, was extremely talented and extremely intelligent, that I knew I had to find another solution for her. So I was at a, an institute in, at Full Sail University in Florida. And for those of you who don't know who, what Full Sail University is, Full Sail University is a university for uh, young adults who want to go into the film industry, into the music industry, into the gaming and the game design industry. Well, they had a program called Digital Cinematography, and it was an online program. So I talked to a couple of the professors there, and I said, you know what, there's this amazingly talented young lady back in North Dakota that I would love to see go through that program. Is there any way that we can find a scholarship for her to, to be able to go into digital cinematography? So they worked really hard in the background, and they were able actually to secure her uh, a full scholarship to attend the online course for digital cinematography. It was an amazing opportunity. While I was attending Full Sail, I learned more about video editing from my teachers, who were working in the film industry. As a student, I learned about the whole process of making a film, and telling a story. These skills helped me to build my confidence and to refine my skills. I was able to produce better films, and became a much better editor. My goal was, and is, to create films that help people understand disabilities and to understand or realize their abilities. I want to showcase how accessible and assistive technologies can create opportunities for persons of all abilities and how they can help them realize their dreams. As an artist, I feel I am just scratching the surface of my ability and creativity. But I also feel that I have a platform and obligation to spread a message of empowerment for all. I do that through video. So. Sadie graduated with a degree in digital cinematography, but not only did she graduate with a de degree in digital cinematography, she graduated as one of the top members of her class. In fact, she got the Advanced Achievement Award. Now, the beautiful thing about it was, is this was an online course. And because it was an online course, um, no one on the other end knew that she had a disability. All they saw was her ability. Not even her professors knew that she had a disability. All they were able to see was the extreme talent and this artist with an amazing amount of ability. Technology is a huge part of my life and I use it daily. It's part of my DNA. I have every device you can think of. An Apple Watch, three computers, an iPhone, an iPad, an Apple TV and everything in between. But these devices alone are not what empowers me. It is what is being built into these devices that empower and enable me to access my world, my dreams and my inner artist. Accessibility features such as switch control and text-to-speech. Switch control gives me full access to my devices. Text-to-speech gives me my voice. We really live in an amazing time because a lot of the assistive technologies and accessibility features that are built into our devices are available to all learners, everyone. It levels that playing field. It really provides accessibility to a wide range of, of uh, users all over. But to me, it's really more than accessibility. It's accessing abilities. It's about finding those tools that will allow artists to explore the inner artist within and to become the talented professionals like Sadie. If you see me through the lens of my disability, it's not okay, but I understand. It's human nature. But don't feel sorry for me. I am here to help change the narrative 
to change the perception, to tear down barriers, and to give you a different lens which to see me through. I will not do it by lecturing people. I will show you by being an example, by telling stories through video and with video. So I ask you to see beyond my disability and see my ability. See me as the intelligent, passionate, and independent woman I am. See the artist within. Thank you.